One thing is for sure, robotic milking is and continues to be the future in milking equipment. Please join me in welcoming the one and only Gray Prescott to talk a little bit with you about the Lely A5 astronaut. Thanks, Mitch, for that wonderful introduction. And hello to everybody <clears throat> tuning in out there. We really appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. I'm Gray Prescott, and I've been with West Coast Robotics for seven years now. In this time, I've been a project manager, and for the last two years, a salesman. I manage the territory encompassing Chilliwack and all points west of Abbotsford, including Vancouver Island. And I'm here today to talk to you about the latest Lely milking robot, the A5. The Lely Astronaut A5 milking robot is the most recent in a long line of astronaut milking robots from Lely beginning with the A2 and moving to the A3 and A3 next, and the direct predecessor, the A4. Launched in the spring of 2018, the A5 milking robot represents all the lessons learned through 30 years of robotic milking experience. West Coast Robotics is proud to have 37 A5 milking robots running in British Columbia today. This is part of our total installed base of 185 milking robots. This robot has the best pretreatment in the business, a fast and accurate electric arm that attaches cows quickly and provides precision post dipping. With the same footprint as the A4 before it, but a heavier frame and revolutionary hybrid arm, the A5 robot is the most reliable milking robot on the market today. A more powerful CPU improves upon the, the same great laser technology found on other Lely milking robots to scan at a higher resolution and keep track of the teats, teat location to make better decisions on how to attach cows, which comes in most helpful during the first time attachments. From the first attachment with one push of a button to dry off and all cow touch points in between, this machine will meet the needs of all of your cows and support them throughout their entire lactation to make the most milk they can while maintaining optimum health and condition. Today, West Coast Robotics has A5 milking robots working on farms with as few as 30 cows and one unit and as large as 460 cows with eight units. But what makes it work? The Lely A5 is 131 inches wide and 93 inches tall. It's 90 inches deep and it weighs 1,543 pounds. It features 11% more stainless steel than its predecessor, the A4. One central unit is needed per two A5 robot units, which houses the power supply, chemical pumps, and the vacuum pump for two machines. Modest power and water requirements of 240 volt 30 amps and one three quarter inch cold water line per two robots mean that you need no external hot water tanks, vacuum pumps or VFDs, resulting in less install costs. The hybrid arm works by air supported electric actuators. It's silent and precise. There's no need to convert power to air and air to movement. This saves on air requirements and on energy. The milk pump, revised from, an A4, from the A4 cartridge pump, the A5 uses a low maintenance centripetal pump. Knowledge is power. Sensors that come standard on the A5 measure milk flow, milk temperature, conductivity, milk yield, body weight, milk color, rumination, and fat and protein per milking, all with no consumable cost. An optional somatic cell counter provides SCC readings for the cost of one cent per test. This includes the reagent and the milk sampled. All of this gives you more information than you gather yourself today and keeps track of everything while supporting decisions. You still do the job of being a farmer but now with more direction and less to remember. Preventative maintenance and emergency response provided 24 seven by West Coast Robotics 
keep those A5s working like the day they were installed. Farmer fixes in between visits through phone support save on callouts, as evidenced by milking robots that we have working in places like Creston and Smithers. What does the machine achieve? Service costs, and I know this is a big one. On average, the A5 costs $1,100 per robot per month. Total running costs, including service, both planned and emergency, and consumables like liners and chemicals. We see BCC and SCC numbers below the, BC, the British Columbia averages. And milking's visits per cow per day um, as high as 3.4. The farmer is able to control this through milk access settings and feed tables to try and achieve about 12 liters per milking. Failures per robot per day average less than one on many farms. This means on a given day, there's not a single cow that enters the A5 who qualifies to be milked and does not leave after having a complete milking. Free flow. With a large open concept box, cows walk straight in and straight out. They can see around them during the milking process. No indexing means a pleasant robot visit, facilitating more visits and less fetching. Valuable information, as I mentioned before, and more control over your herd and each cow in it. What can it do for your farm? When I ask what can it do for your farm, I mean that. Not what can it do for you, but what can it do for your bottom line, your employees' lives, and the lives of your cows. Free flow. The cow does what she wants, when she wants. And cow comfort makes free flow work. Calm cows in a free flow situation are easy to work with and have less stress in their life. But don't lose that hands-on approach to farming. Without the distraction of having to hang cups, you notice a whole lot more. The robot collects and analyzes data to find problems for you. Eliminating the holding area from the cow's life is a great benefit as well. The best waiting times in a parlor are 45 minutes to an hour. This is time when they are not eating, they are not laying down, and they are not able to drink water. Health attention reports point out problems before they manifest as symptoms. Top tier heat detection provided by SCR and NADAP take the guesswork out of exactly when to breed each cow for optimum conception. This helps you have a great herd health. Labor savings, less turnover, and increased flexibility provides a nicer working day for farmers and their staff. Incorporate sorting into your life. Have the cows you need to interact with in a special pen at the front of the barn. Leave the cows that you do not need to see alone to do their own thing. Automated foot bathing makes it easy to selectively choose who goes through the foot bath and how often. There are many AMS machines on the market today. So what makes the A5 special? Cow comfort, eye flow, no indexing, and a large robot box. This is based on experience. Making the box larger and elimination of indexing made the average visits jump from 2.7 to 3.0 on the A3 milking robot versus the A2. Going to iFlow on the A4 resulted in an increase to 3.4 visits or more. Our, the A5 hangs the slowest quarter first, and it's the only robot on the market which does so. The pre-treatment using brushes, it's effective cleaning and provides tactile stimulation. There's no risk of cup slip while there is dirty water on a teat. Teat cups remain clean because they only touch clean teats. And the shortest hot wash time in the business means that there's more time for the A5 to milk cows. There's few moving parts underneath the cow, meaning that sand barns are not a problem for the A5. Short tubes with the milk flow sensors and pulsation control close to the teat cups make the astronaut fast at detecting pinched teats 
or cups that have been knocked off. The silent arm babysits the milking process, making first time attachment easier. There's no st hoses to be stepped on here. The arm is between the cow's hoofs and the cups. The pre-milk is done by the cup that does the milking. It measures by volume to separate exactly nine milliliters per quarter. Takeoff points for each quarter are a percentage of peak milk flow, not a set number. So there's no guessing what is best for each cow. The most advanced feed tables on the market allow for complete customization. Feeding time spread evenly over the entire expected milk duration helps cows remain calm during the milking, the entire milking process. And the excellent software and support to make the most out of it help you realize your goals. So why should you have one on your firm today? This brings me to the end of my presentation, but I just want to finish with a few points. I'm going to say it again, cow comfort, the eye flow configuration, the big box, no indexing, and feed that ma time that matches milk duration. Low maintenance of only 15 minutes per robot per day by the farmer keeps the robot clean and in good working order. Low running costs of $1,100 per month. Little downtime. This makes the machine low hassle and provides more flexibility for your day. The technical support to keep it running well and the support to make the most out of it. No robot is an island. It takes thoughtful burn design, expertise to install it correctly, and continuing farm management support to help you achieve your goals. West Coast Robotics has more experience in robotic milking than any dealer in British Columbia today. More milk in the tank, less work with more flexibility, a better life for the cows and people on your farm. Please contact West Coast Robotics today to see what Laylee can do for you. And now we're gonna move on to a video highlighting a, a local Chilliwack farm. This is a, a family owned farm, Windermar Holsteins, run by the Marhus family. And they were kind enough to share their story with us um, and kind of explain their journey towards uh, implementing robotic milking as part of their plan to manage growth and succession on their farm. And here they are. We looked at multiple different robots and with all the information and just all the options that came with the Lely, we like the Lely is the best and West Coast comes with Lily, so um, I'm the numbers person behind this, and for me, it came down to the numbers uh, making the most sense, both in the price, the original price, but also in the maintenance, um, the water usage, the plumbing. This just made the most sense. So we wanted to go with the company that had the longest track record with robots, uh, maybe the most reliability. Right. I feel like Lily just knew what they were talking about with the planning yeah. and they just, it helped transition us building because they just knew what they were doing. I don't know. The week of transition was um, scripted. It was very well thought out. There's a plan. Um, I'm not sure every company has that plan, but we, if you trust their plan, it works. And trust them. They know what they're talking about. Um, but it was so much fun too. At the same time, as hard as it was, I look at that we can think it's fun. That's my first word. Right. So, Transition was fun. It was fun yeah. and it worked well. Yeah. So nice. yeah, we liked it. We were really happy at the end of that, how well the cows uh, went in on the, ro on the robots on their own. And the production went up and up and up, which was awesome. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> what we're here for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have not really seen much issue with West Coast and they're like they're always answering the phone. Like, somebody will show up if you request. Like if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have an answer or you can't figure out the problem, yeah. just just tell them and the service team will show up and it's fantastic. Um changes. 
Um, so when we started this process, it was, for me, it was like, okay, we'll do this and we're done. Um, uh, they're already talking about building and adding, so I can see it happening. Yeah. That the changes have been so positive that, um, provided we can get quota, you know, there's growth down the, down the road, more growth. When we first started up, probably within about a month, Marty walked in the house at 7.30 in the morning for breakfast and in 37 years of marriage, that's never happened. So I actually thought something was wrong and that he needed help or something had gone wrong. And he's like, no, I'm just done. I'm here for breakfast. So yeah, it was, it's kind of neat that the time's freed up. I know. In the last month, um, on a more personal note, my, my mother died and I was so grateful for robots that he was there. Yeah, that's, that's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't for COVID, we might have a social life. Yes, yeah, so. if it wasn't for COVID, <laughs> yeah. Personally, I spend more time with my family and with the second child on the way, it's, it's nice to be able to take care of our toddler for the time being while well, Cassie's pregnant <laughs> and <laughs> afterwards. Well sometimes. Uh, having the information, the butter fat, the proteins available at any given time. Well, it, all the information that's available at the ro robot is very handy. Having the cows, just for general info, if you're having, wondering where the cow's at in her lactation, that's available on the screen. Uh, mentioned the weight floors. Uh, if a cow is not putting on weight, you don't. Have, you can make a decision not to breed the cow at that point. If she shows the heat and you look like, oh, she's not putting weight on yet, then don't bother breeding her because it's not going to catch. Having the increase in milk production, uh, not having to rely on employees to come milk on the schedule, uh, not having to be in the parlor all the time. Uh, these are all. This has all helped us to achieve our goals. Yeah. Yeah, for, um, for us, uh, we're looking, you know, retirements 10, 15 years down the road and it helped bring Ben and Cass on. Um, so we chose robots, a uh, few reasons, but employees, huge issue over here, getting reliable employees and also empowering the next generation to come in and, and give them the technology and, and just, and they made the commitment to come on. So we move forward, so the robots, is a huge part of that business.